Today I'll be showing you how to make an LED array, but first the things you're going to need are 7 LEDs, 7 220 ohms resistor or breadboard, and 7 male to male jumpers and 8 male to female jumpers. Next I took my LEDs and I put them on the row of eye, I put the longer leg facing to the row of my right, and I put two spaces in between each LED. You might want to line up your LEDs like in the photo because I didn't do that and now my wires look a lot messy. Then take your resistor and put one of the legs the third spot down from the right leg of the LED. Then take your other leg and skip a spot and then put your other leg there. And it doesn't matter which way you have your resistor, it's vice versa. And then do that with all the other LEDs. So before we do all the wiring, I want to show you how to count your pins on the Raspberry Pi. So first, your pins have to be facing your left like in the photo. And the very bottom pin on the right is the first pin. And then on the left of that is the second pin. Then above the first pin is the third pin. And the left of that is the fourth pin and so on. So take your first jumper, the male to female one, and connect it to the first pin on the Raspberry Pi and connect it to the positive side of the breadboard. <music> I put the photo back on screen so you could see it before we do the wiring. So now you're going to take your male to male jumpers and you're going to connect it in the positive row and then connect it underneath each resistor. Now you're going to take your male to female wires and you're going to connect it next to the leg of the resistor, the one that's closer to the LED, and make sure there's two spots in between the jumper and the LED and also the resistor and the LED. And then connect the first jumper to pin number 7 on the Raspberry Pi, then the second one to pin number 11, the third one to pin number 12 the fourth one to pin number 13, the fifth one to pin number 15, and the sixth one to pin number 16, and the seventh one to pin number 22.
have everything connected, it's time to turn on your Pi. After your Pi has booted, click on the icon you downloaded in the last Raspberry Pi video. So now I'm going to delete the script. This is from when I was testing the LEDs earlier and I don't need this. But you're going to need the when this button is pressed block, seven um, broadcast blocks, and six wait blocks. So the order needs to be when the space button is pressed block, and then the broadcast block, then the wait block, and then another broadcast block, and so on. So click on the little arrow on the first broadcast block and hit click on add and then type in GPIO for off. I have to type in off because it turns on my LED on. And then the next one type in GPIO 17 off. The third one GPIO 18 off. The fourth one GPIO 27 off. The fifth one GPIO 22 off. The sixth one GPIO 23 off. And the seventh one GPIO 25 off. You might want to get more broadcast blocks and type in the same thing, but type in on this time to turn off the LEDs if you want to. You don't have to. Now go to the top of the page, click on edit, then click on start GPIO server. Now all you have to do is click the space button, whatever button you selected, and your LEDs to turn on. I hope this video helped you. Please hit that like button. Also hit that subscribe button.